we all know about uh, this news which has been circulating since a time now that uh, around 5276 posts will be called for for the teacher recruitments including the pst gpstr and uh, pt teachers and uh, hstr and so on now i was getting many messages from uh, aspirants who are preparing for uh, pst 1 to 5th standard because uh, specifically for pst they have announced 4424 posts so here i am to uh, help you all the aspirants who are preparing for pst 1 to 5th standard i will be discussing about the syllabus exam pattern qualification and the age limit for this post in this video so you have to watch this entire video till the end without missing any part because every part will give you the details all the details about pst 1 to 5th standard okay now this is a primary teacher uh, recruitment only but uh, here there are few doubts related to this because uh, till now it is told that for pst only d ed students are eligible not b ed so aspirants uh, have been raising their voice related to this and uh, also uh, as we see in this table the gpstr posts are very less only 78 they have given so aspirants have been raising voice uh, to increase the number of posts for GPSTR and also for HSTR which they have given only 121 here. So it is a good thing that uh, you all are raising your voice because uh, the government will come to know our problem only if we speak it out to them. So let us hope for the best and uh, let us see if they will increase the GPSTR posts or at least if they will allow be it aspirants to write PST also. So this is all uh, uh, still not clear. But meanwhile, we need to keep our preparations on, right? So raising our voice is one part of the recruitment preparation. But another important part is to keep our preparation on, right? So that's why because many aspirants were requesting, I am making this video with lot of research because uh, not much details are available related to PST because uh, previous PST exam was conducted in 2016. So after long time, this exam has been uh, uh, called for and the uh, PST recruitment is in process, they are telling. So that's why let us uh, give few minutes to this video and uh, watch it till the end. Okay. Of course, if you have not subscribed to our channel, subscribe right now. And also, if you like this video, click the like button and share it with the other aspirants who are preparing for these exams. Okay. So, in the process of making this video, I had to uh, do a lot of research. So, I searched the PST 1 to 5 Karnataka government recruitment exam pattern in Google. I did not find anything from anywhere except to one website of a school education where I got a PDF file for primary school assistant, masters, mistress, C and R rules. Okay, so I will show you the document which I got from here. So this is the document. Now this is a old document actually. It is a for uh, I think a 2017 document. So this is a Karnataka Rajya Patra. Adhikruta Vagi Prakatisa Laduddu Vishesha Raja Patrike. So, this gives you the notification related to the Education Secretariate and it is published on 2017. So, in this notification, I got many details related to everything. The uh, primary school teacher for class 1 to 5. Here they are giving all the details of qualification and how the recruitment is done and uh, how the competitive exam is conducted, uh, what is the eligibility for uh, aspirants to write this exam and then uh, they are also giving uh, the procedure to select the aspirants after the written exam also and uh, after this uh, PST uh, they are giving about the uh, age limit also and then they are uh, showing the GPSTR details. You can see here this is a class 6 to 8. But because we know almost all the details of 6 to 8 because this has been conducted regularly. So that's why we will stick on to the 
PST. So I have taken out all the important points from this notification and based on this notification I will be telling you about the eligibility to write this exam and age limit to write this exam. Okay. So now let's first talk about the age limit for a PST 1 to 5. Now according to this notification for a scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, category 1 of OBC or a candidate belonging to category of a person with a disability, the age limit will be 45 years. Okay, it will be 45 years. And for backward caste like 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, age will be 43 years. For others that is the general merit candidates, the age will be 40 years. Okay, so what is the age limit? Age limit is a for general merit candidates 40 years okay with exceptions we have 43 years for a backward caste and 45 years for scheduled caste scheduled tribe and this persons with a disability okay clear right so this is the age limit for PST. now let's see about the qualification okay now as per the 2017 notification See the qualification, the aspirant must have done PUC with the minimum 50% marks. So minimum 50% marks PUC and a two year diploma in elementary education. Okay, plus D ed will do or PUC with 50% plus B ed will do. Now this is based on 2017 notification. Okay, but right now they are telling that the situation is different because Supreme Court has told that only D.A. aspirants can write the PST. B.A. cannot. So aspirants are raising their voice over all this, right? So which is very good. So let us hope for the best. Okay, uh, then uh, or again they are telling PUC 45% uh, plus D.A. or B.A. for scheduled tribe schedule cast that type of categories okay now this is one thing along with this you should have cleared TET either Karnataka or CTET you should have cleared okay so much thing is right clear now okay so much thing is clear now right now again specifically they are telling about maths and science teacher if you want to write the PST for maths and science teacher in that case then you should have done your PCM with the 50%. Along with this, you should have done uh, practice teaching method of a teaching at least in one of these subjects in either diploma or bachelor degree course in teacher education. Okay. And the uh, same thing for uh, scheduled caste and scheduled tribe, PCM 45% will do along with B ed and D ed. Okay. So this is the qualification required. This is as per the 2017 notification okay i really hope that uh, they will follow this thing only this time also in that scenario huge posts which are called for pst will be applicable for b ed aspirants also so let us hope for the best okay now after knowing all that what is the most important thing which we should know is the exam pattern and the syllabus right so first let me tell you about the exam pattern see unlike the gpstr question paper there are no descriptive question and answers here. You don't need to answer any descriptive part. Okay, now this is a sort of a good news only because things will become very much easier, right? So there will be total 150 multiple choice questions. There will be no negative marking. There will be no descriptive questions. Now how this 150 MCQs are divided means general knowledge questions, 15 questions will be there. Then child development, pedagogy and psychology, 25 questions will be there. Then for language, it can be Kannada, English, Urdu, Marathi, Tamil, it depends on your first language, right? So that 20 questions will be there for 20 marks. Then general English will be there for everyone, right? That will be for 25 marks. Then EVS or science will be there for 20 marks. Mathematics will be there for 20 marks. And computer literacy will be there for 25 marks. That means 25 questions will be there from computer literacy. So if you count now total, you will have 150 multiple choice questions in your exam. Now what is the syllabus for this? See the syllabus also we were not finding. Some uh, people were sharing the syllabus for PST without the science part and computer literacy part. 
so uh, we were not convinced with it so we have done lot of research and uh, we have found a uh, uh, right syllabus for you all as of now because notification is not released till now right but uh, more or less 90 percent of the syllabus is expected same which i will be showing it to you now okay so this is the syllabus for recruitment of uh, one to fifth primary teachers through the common entrance test okay first let us see the general knowledge syllabus so here this uh, syllabus is uh, more or less same as uh, our uh, uh, GPSTR syllabus for uh, GK many parts are same actually and uh, even it is same for HSTR but one thing which I can tell you is that uh, though the syllabus will be same the quality of the questions will be very much different like for PS PST it will be very easy for GPSTR it will be little tough for HSTR it will be more tough okay even though the syllabus is same uh, you have to understand that uh, the questions will be easier when compared to the GPSTR and HSTR okay I am talking about PST here so in GK you can see famous books and authors uh, important inventions and uh, discoveries are there and then basic science uh, including scientific phenomena hygiene and physiology that is human physiology chronology of events in world history glimpses of uh, Indian history geographical terms which are basic terms then uh, international and national figures related to sports awards honors and prizes then everything about uh, indian culture is there then uh, current international affairs and the current national affairs so this is same as uh, other teacher recruitment exams gk okay that is hstr and gpstr now talking about uh, uh, cdp or educational psychology child development pedagogy and educational psychology for one to fifth they have given this much what is that learner and learning concept of learning uh, which is uh, including process of uh, children's learning mistakes as uh, windows to children's thinking learning in out of school context learning as a process and product assessing learning then learner differences work model and all they are given here and uh, play and its educational implications meaning kinds and types of play fantasy and play play and its function and so on then constructivism they have given okay so much is there for uh, cdp and psychology then talking about uh, general english general english is also uh, common only here you can see nouns and its uh, types pronouns and its types verbs tenses time aspects uh, auxiliaries models adjectives prepositions conjunctions then vocabulary including synonyms antonyms prefixes suffixes number gender all that is there then phrases including uh, noun phrases prepositional phrases uh, uses and usages idioms phonology including ovals consonant stress intonation organs of speech then uh, nature of sound uh, they have given articles punctuations transformations degrees of comparison active passive voice then types of sentences reported speech clauses and comprehension so these are all common topics only right we have been seeing this in hstr and gpstr till now okay now talking about environmental science see here basically it is including physics chemistry and biology if you think about karnataka tet paper one evs is very much less when compared to uh, this syllabus of pst but we cannot take risk by seeing the old syllabus of TET paper 1 which had only uh, 3 to 4 chapters in physics, 3 to 4 in chemistry and 3 to 4 in uh, biology. In fact, less it was there. Now times have changed, right? We have seen in 2024 TET how paper 1 and paper 2 syllabus was drastically changed. So better you take paper 1 TET new syllabus, okay? Now, this syllabus which I am showing you for PST is similar to the new syllabus of TET paper 1. It is also similar to the HSTR but as I told you, questions will be very much easy when compared to uh, those uh, uh, high level exams. Okay. So, in environmental science, first physics is there in that you have uh, units and measurements, magnetism, electricity, dynamics and gravitation. Then you have rockets and satellites, heat, light, sound, electromagnetic radiation. See all this is there. Then energy is there and electronics is also there. In electronics, no. Many things are not there. In HSTR, electronics is huge, right? 
but uh, in gpstr we don't have electronics chapter like this sir. but here in psd they are given so uh, we can also think that uh, this is a uh, old syllabus but you never know they may give it as it is this time also 90% chances are there okay then uh, radioactivity modern physics and universe so much is there in physics part now uh, talking about the chemistry part structure of atom is there chemical bonds chemical reactions all this is gpstr syllabus also classification of elements matter acids bases and salts organic chemistry is there and chemicals in our daily life this is also related to tet only okay then biology uh, living world is there life process in animals is there natural resources is there food is there ecology is there then we have uh, ecosystem cytology classification of organisms microorganisms evolution plant kingdom cell division genetics including heredity and tissue culture and biotechnology and animal resources okay so much is there for evs now seeing the syllabus for mathematics this is also usual uh, syllabus which is given for hstr and gpstr but things are very much different because in gpstr you have descriptive part in hstr you will have tough level questions PST will be very much easy when you compare to those. Okay, so number system we have, certs we have, sets we have, progressions, commercial mathematics, statistics, permutation and combination. Then we have probability, basic concepts of algebra, polynomials, linear equations, exponents, quadratic equation, variation, basic geometrical ideas, triangles, quadrilaterals, polygons, circles, mensuration, trigonometry, coordinate geometry and symmetry. Okay. Here matrices one was given for HSTR. Here it is not given. Okay, so because this is PST, so lower level exam, so matrices they have not given here. After maths we have a uh, computer literacy. Even this is same as uh, uh, HSTR only. So introduction to computers there, introduction to operating system, application softwares, internet applications, Nudi software. That's it. Okay. So this was uh, all about the syllabus for one to five primary teacher recruitment so as i promised you in the starting of this class i have given you all the details like syllabus exam pattern qualification and age limit okay so here i want to tell you one very important thing that if you are an aspirant who is preparing for gpstr and hstr then you are a very very lucky aspirant because you have already cleared TET that's why you are preparing for GPSTR. If you are not clear TET you are already preparing for HSTR. In all the scenarios you are very much useful to the syllabus which I have discussed here and you are also very much uh, used to multiple choice questions and also descriptive questions. Everything you know now right. So if you have a uh, started to prepare for all these exams then you are the luckiest person i must say that too if you have joined our courses you will be knowing the value of what is actually the preparation by seeing our classes notes and practice worksheets so this is the right time for you all to buck up and do revision and all that but if you are an aspirant who has not still started it is a very very high time for you please start right now if you are interested, take our courses for TET, GPSTR, HSTR or if you are not interested, don't take our courses but please prepare. Start preparing right now in any manner you want. You will get many free classes in our YouTube channel of Unfog with Dr. Atahar Parvin. If you don't want to take paid classes, you can watch free classes, prepare your own notes and just prepare in any manner you want but don't waste your time. Okay, so if you want to know anything more or if you have any doubt you can please feel free to write in the comment section below or you can reach out to us by our telegram channel telegram group whatsapp channel even we have a whatsapp number if you are interested to join our courses then also you can mail us or message us in whatsapp so you will get all the details here uh, in this video in the description also you will get it if you want i'll put it in the comment section also okay so I really hope that uh, you all are preparing and just to keep preparing because this is the golden time for you all to prepare. Once the notification comes, you will become stressed out. You will not know what to read and what not. At that time, even I cannot help you a lot because there will be lack of time. Okay. So I really hope that you all are utilizing this time in the best manner as possible. Thank you. All the best. Bye.